John here. Electricians need to know. Well, we're, this morning we're talking about transformer connections. Um, if you have to set a large transformer, there's always the issue of uh, primary disconnect, where it's going to go, um, if it's fusible or not, uh, secondary disconnect, where is it going to go, uh, how much room do we have, or uh, maybe you put in a transformer with a fusible disconnect in the primary side and direct ran the wires directly on the secondary side into the bus of a, of a distribu distribution panel. Okay, so, and you're sitting here worried about it and you've been worried about it for five years. Well, I understand that. There's a way to protect that secondary side uh, without having to hang a big diffusable disconnect on the wall and run pipe and, and go through all that motion. Uh, it's quick and easy. Uh, what we do is we land a Fusetron or a fuse stat to the bus in the secondary bus inside the transformer. Now, as long as the surfaces are clean and polished, um, you can grease them up, which takes the oxygen out of the connection, and marry them. Now, in transformers, you get a lot of vibration, so I recommend a nice graded bolt. Uh, the bolts are usually furnished uh, for the secondary tap, uh, for the output of the secondary tap. Uh, but if you put this in there, you're going to have another connection here. Uh, usually a lug uh, of some kind would, would go here. So this connection needs to be cleaned and polished. Um, we make a kit at buskit.com. It's a little kit. It's got a deoxidizing bar that doesn't take off any metal. It just takes the oxidation off the, out of the connection. Uh, it's got some wisps. These wisps are primarily for breakers. When you clean the, the uh, contacts in a breaker, uh, it's hard to get in there. So, uh, And metal oxidizes, so you know there's oxidation in there, especially if these breakers have been sitting around a wholesaler for uh, five years before you get them. So we clean them up with these wisps. We set the gap with this gap setter gauge that we have here, and we have some lint-free wipes. Okay, a little kit. Uh, it's under 25 bucks somewhere, and uh, it uh, it will make it'll clean up panels. It'll do uh, four or five panels, uh, and it'll set quite a few breakers. So, and it'll do some lugs too. It it'll take care of these lugs now. If you want to flatten, now these guys are never flat when you buy them, uh, these lugs. It, they're oxidized, uh, they're, this came right out of the box. It's uh, discolored, uh, you can tell it was punched out so it's not flat. It, it looks several, you know, it looks like it's flat, but it's, you know, it's really far from flat. If you would marry these guys, you would get about 30 to 37% uh, uh, surface conductivity. Uh, the rest of it's oxygen or holes. Uh, it's amazing. So we sell a little flat at buskit.com. Uh, it's a little flat. It's all it is. And uh, some appropriate paper that goes on the flat. And then we uh, polish these things up. And this is what we get. We get a nice polished surface. It's a flat poly surface. Now you can tell by looking at this really close it's somewhere around 50%, maybe a little bit more, 55 or 60, uh, if you do a really good job. But that's as good as you're going to get, even on a flat. So um, when you marry both surfaces uh, together, you're only going to get maybe uh, 60%. So what you need to do is you need to put this connection together with a bolt. Uh, and if you're putting it uh, into a transformer and you're marrying it to... Uh, these two services nice and polished you need to grease them to take the oxygen out of the out of the connection because oxygen in a connection uh, leads to electrolysis and it deteriorates the connection now sure it takes years to do but it happens over years so 10 years down the road the connection burns up even though it's good and solid and great when you put it together so take take the grease uh, grease each end uh, take the oxygen out of the co that connection. So, uh, 
and use a graded bolt. Now we do sell graded bolts because as an amusement ride inspector and uh, I worked for Disney for uh, 23 years as a manager over their maintenance and I worked for the state of California for three or four years uh, as a inspector uh, and uh, I went out as an independent inspector all over the world, Indonesia, Hong Kong, Florida, Hawaii, all over the place. I did everybody. Um, Disney, uh, Six Flags, Legoland. Uh, I inspected all their coasters. I did portable rides. So uh, I've been around and I know bolts and bolts. Uh, the counterfeit bolt industry is rampant. now. There are some good counterfeit bolts out there, don't get me wrong, but the only problem is they're, they're all over the place. They're either too hard or not hard enough or they're not married properly with the, the bolt to the nut or the washers are grade twos and it's hard to find a counterfeit grade eight washer. So, that being said, we sell uh, a little bolt kit. Uh, we sell a little bag of bolts. They're uh, Actually, there's uh, instructions in them to, to set the clamp. Uh, so when you marry this up and set the clamp, it's going to stay there for a very, very long time. And uh, you're not going to have to worry about it. This is, uh, this is uh, how many times have, as an electrician went out and found uh, the connections uh, in their wiring burned up. Uh, I've done that hundreds and hundreds of times. And, and it's, it's time that we elevated those up to uh, getting rid of all the problems we have with connections. Okay, that's the way to marry uh, a fuse to a transformer and a lug um, to an output. So, um, thanks for watching.